um, Sportless Football Agency. Uh, we have Sadi Bukamaso and also we have um, Luigi. Uh, Mr. Luigi, uh, this is the fifth edition of um, Sportless Football Agency. You have been here 45 times. Um, how satisfied are you um, regarding to this um, football trial happening in the Gambia? I'm very, very satisfied today because uh, every time we find more players. Uh, so I see that the, the country go well. Uh, players improve every time, and uh, I'm really satisfied. Yeah, looking at the trials happening here in the Gambia, um, each time, you know, the sport like football agency happens to come to the Gambia, we saw another uh, new club or a new country. This time around, we have seen um, uh, Croatia and also Parma for the first time. Yeah, yeah. What is I the try... connection between um, sportless and football agency? Football well, football I'm 30 years in football. I have a connection in all Europe, so... Every time I, I, I try to to find some new solution because uh, Italy is difficult for our rules for players that they are no no European community. Uh, it's very very difficult to put inside players. So um, for me it's a pity when I see I see players here, 20, 30 players ready to go. And I cannot do in Italy all of them, so I try to find a solution uh, other country like Turkey one year ago, now Croatia. Uh, we see, we work. Yeah, uh, looking at Luigi, um, you have produced almost five players that are very important with the national team. Uh, that was, I think, 10 years back or 15 years back. What yeah. are we expecting again for Gambia in the next four, four years? You can be sure that there arrive other players for national team, for sure. Because uh, for me, Gambia is now the new, new, the country that has the most uh, interesting players, young for future. So you know, in, in my mind, I always, I always think that uh, every country has a period where they they have a lot of players good. Now is period of Gambia. Almost 18 teams participated. Are we expecting to see more players this time around moving also? I hope, <laughs> of course, I want this, but uh, you know, marriage, uh, you, you must be two, not only one, agree. Okay. All right, okay. thank you very much. No problem. Um, Salibu, um, uh, this is the fifth edition of um, uh, football, uh, Sport Life Football Agency. Um, how difficult is it you know, to attract these um, uh, clubs like some uh, in Croatia, uh, Parma, uh, you know, anytime you see this um, happen, we have you only see another new clubs. Well, I could say it's difficult, not difficult, because Luigi, you know, has a lot of connections in Europe. And me being a partner, it involves, you know, making them understand that there's a lot of talent here and assuring them that everything is safe here, because not everybody just jumps on a plane and uh, comes to Africa. You know, in fact, there were teams that were supposed to come from Serbia. We even did their visas. You know, they were supposed to be here, but at the 11th hour, you know, they changed their mind. But, you know, we keep extending the network. Luigi has told you he's been in football for over 30 years. Yeah. He has a white network. So what it is, is convincing them because a number of times he even gets to take care of flights and everything just to make sure they come. Because a lot of people don't even know about Gambia that much. But now that we're playing at the international stage, this is good for us and it exposes the players. We are hoping, you know, more of the clubs he has spoken to would come. Sometimes when there are too many, we have a problem who will select who. We have a problem like yesterday, we, the final selection, we had 88 players. We were wondering, yeah. <laughs> you know, but it's good for us and it's good for Gambia. Uh, how do you feel, you know, organizing this fifth edition in the Gambia? Uh, one might say this is the first time it happened. Well, this is, this is, this is amazing. I remember meeting Luigi some 12, 13 years ago. First time we met him in Senegambia, he told me I want to build the national team of the Gambia. Not build as in, but to bring in players that would all play in the national team. We've seen the number of players that are there that he has exposed. Already we have four players that are in Turkey. We have um, two more that are in in, uh, in Italy that have not come to the you know to the limelight, and we have you know Seni Sanyang also in Ceska in Bulgaria. So all these players, by the time they all get matured, you can be assured that you know these are all players that can take position in the national team. And now that we've done this, you know we are hoping that you know they can finalize and more players go, and it, it takes us to the next level. How do you feel being in the ground here? Happy because already Luigi has started a lot of work. He's even talking to a lot of other people in terms of infrastructure. We do not want to let the cat out of the bag. But, you know, he's using his connection. He's in love with Gambia. In December, he was here with his whole family. You know, he's working on doing a lot of projects 
that I don't want to talk about now, but hopefully when all materializes, people will understand. We're here every three months. This is the fifth edition. I don't think anybody else has, has done, done that. And in the next three, four months, be sure we are here again and we're going to do another one to help these young players to go abroad. Yeah, what message do you have for the ministry um, regarding to Luigi, you know, who want to be, who want to do something when it comes to infrastructure? No, for ministry, I think they've created the enabling environment. You know, what they've done, the environment is conducive enough. I mean, Luigi is working on a lot of things and, you know, I'm sure it's, it's it, for us, uh, the ministry is not a difficult place to deal with. It's easy to deal with. Into, but it's the other institutions that we need to understand that this is national development. It's for us to move this. Luigi doesn't live here. So whatever he does for Gambia, it comes back to Gambia. If you imagine the players who are brought now that are sending remittances here, the properties they buy, it's not in his name. They're all in the players' names. He as an agent just, you know, he gets his commission when the players get transferred at the top level, not now. Because what, they, what the clubs get as compensation now is, you know, that's where he gets it. But sometimes too, you have the players going to that, position and things start changing so for us we keep working we you know we, we we believe the ministry will ensure the environment is continues to be conducive so we can do a lot more there's a lot in the offing but we do not want to let the cat out of the bag. thank you mr Carson. thank you very much we also want to take this opportunity to thank the ministry the federation you know the, the, the you know the you know the clubs you know the banyu sports committee you know everybody who's made it you know okay for us to conduct these trials because for us the interest of the athletes matter more than any other thing else you know we could do this other countries luigi knows we have contracts in uganda just waiting for us to go there everything was ready you know we have other countries that keep calling me to say let's go there you've seen players from senegal from nigeria and all of that but this is gambia and this is where we come from so we'll we'll since he said he'll change you know he build the national team yeah. we'll also ensure that we build the infrastructure and make sure things go next level thank you very much thank this you. is our country no <laughs> our country <laughs> he's also another lion okay <laughs> all right